Hello and welcome to Digital Publishing Online and I'm Lisa Gabrielle and today I'd like to briefly discuss with you the uh, vocabulary quiz for this class and if you look at your schedule you'll notice that the vocabulary quiz is scheduled to um, open up in the second to the last week of classes that would be week 13 and during that week um, what will happen is in eCampus I'll bring up eCampus here you will see a, um, a button over here I will put a button I will also have in the week 13 work let's see um, if it's in here I believe it is in here there'll be a quiz a quiz link so there'll be two ways to get to the quiz. You'll either uh, click the button over here when that time comes, or you'll have available, or this link will become available on that day. And the way the quiz works is the vocabulary words that I gave you here are set up as um, a, a varied quiz. And what that means is uh, each student that goes in and seeks a version of the quiz gets a different set of questions. So there's about, I don't know, 75 vocabulary terms here. What, what I've done is I've created like a question database. And when you go in and seek a version of the quiz, it pulls down uh, 25 questions from that database. And there's something like a total of 75. So that's the way it works and um, when the quiz is opened you have multiple attempts to finish it it will be open uh, starting in week 13 and it will close down during finals week so our final will be on Thursday of uh, finals week and at midnight on Thursday is the day that the quiz will will close down so you technically have like a week to do it it's open book so um, if you if you decide to look up the terminology ahead of time and have the uh, all the definitions already prepared the quiz can take you 45 minutes it, you know you can quickly answer the questions and be done if you don't look up the terms ahead of time that the quiz can take you up to two hours because you might have to look up those um, questions at that time so depending on how much time you want to spend on this quiz you can either spend half the time ahead of time or spend it during that um, that last week however keep in mind that also this is not the only thing you'll be working on we'll be doing multiple uh, uh, finishing up on multiple things in the class you'll be doing epubs you'll be doing the quiz you'll be finishing up on your uh, project 2 brochure and postcard design so you'll have a lot of, go of things going on so if you have a little bit of free time now I would highly recommend that you get a jump start on looking up these definitions um, the quiz is worth 25 points and um, it's all administered through eCampus there's no proctor so you don't need to come to eCampus it doesn't lock down your monitor or anything like that if you've taken online courses that have had quizzes like that this is just basically you go in you pull down a version you work on it uh, the other nice thing about the quiz is you can work on it in multi sessions and when you come in here uh, let me go back to um, campus here and pull a version of the quiz I'm just gonna pull um, a version up here real quick okay there's some questions down here that it I mean these are all you know you may get these questions and you may not but there's a button here called save and submit when you're finished with the quiz and only at, during the final when you're absolutely finished during your final review of the quiz and you are set in stone that you want to submit those answers that's when you'll hit the save and submit button any other time if you want to work on sessions of the quiz the save all answers is what you want to use in the interim before you actually submit the quiz for grading so if you plan to work on the quiz for half an hour here another half an hour there 
um, each session should be followed by the save all answers button and then close window. If you're completely done with the quiz and you want to submit it for grading, then you will hit the save and submit button. Okay. So just briefly, that's the quiz review. Um, if you have any questions about finding some of the terminology, most of these definitions back here can be found in um, the multiple handouts I've posted in the classroom. Your textbook has a lot of the definitions for these um, vocabulary terms. I've also spoken of almost all these in my lectures, um, in my comments to you. Uh, from the feedback each week. So these terms should be quite familiar to you uh, and they shouldn't be anything you're going, oh my gosh, I've never heard of that. If there's anything on here you're not familiar with, you can email me uh, or post a, a question. The best thing to do would be to post a question in the uh, problems and solutions area so your classmates can see um, the uh, discussion between you and I on whatever it is you have an issue with on the quiz. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense and um, good luck with your vocabulary definitions.